All right, so let's do a couple exercises to end this section. So let's consider a differential equation, the third derivative y plus y prime minus 10y equal to zero. So the characteristic equation is p of r equal to r cubed plus r minus 10 equal to zero. So this is a cubic. Suppose we want to know how to factor this then we have to first out what the candidates are. So the leading coefficient is 1, the constant term is 10, so the candidates are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 5, and plus minus 10. I'm going to save you some time. 2 is the one that works. If you plug in 2, you get 8 plus 2 minus 10, which is equal to 0. Works. So x minus in this case is r, r minus 2 is a factor. So we can divide r cubed plus r minus 10 by r minus 2. I think 5r minus 10, which is plus 5. 5r minus 10, 0. Okay. So p of r is equal to x mi oops, r minus 2 times r squared plus 2r plus 5. And the second factor actually doesn't really factor, so we have to use the quadratic formula. So r is equal to denominator is 2, minus 2, plus minus square root of 4, minus 5 times 4. This is equal to a negative 2 plus minus square root of negative 16 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus minus 4i over 2. So it's negative 1 plus minus 2i. So there are three roots r minus 2 gives you the root 2, and the quadratic part gives you the root negative 1 plus minus 2i. So the general solution of this homogeneous differential equation is equal to c1 times e to the 2x plus the linear combination of e to the negative x times cosine 2x and e to the negative x times sine 2x. So c2 here and c3 here. All right, so let's do a different example. So let's consider a differential equation, the fourth derivative of y plus 2y double prime plus y equal to 0. So the characteristic equation of this differential equation is r to the fourth plus 2r squared plus 1 equal to 0. And this turned out to be r squared, whole thing squared, plus 2r squared plus 1 equal to 0. So this is of the form a squared plus 2a plus 1, which is a plus 1 squared. equals zero. And if we solve r squared plus one equal to zero, we get r squared is negative one, so r is plus minus r is equal to plus minus square root of negative one, which is plus minus i. So the roots are r equal to plus minus i, but because there's a power two here, so both of these solutions have multiplicity too. So the general solution for this differential equation, uh, for plus minus i part, we have e to the 0x times cosine x and e to the 0x times sine x, linear combination of these two. And because it has multiplicity, so we have to include these two terms multiply by x, so it'll be c3 times x times e to the 0x 
times cosine x, and c4 times x times e to the 0x times sine x. And we know e to the 0x is just 1. So the general solution is of the form y equals to c1 times cosine x plus c2 times sine x plus c3 times x times cosine x plus c4 times x times sine x. Alright, so that's it for section 5.3.